Well, hello everyone. Hello, hello and welcome. I am already seeing your comments in the chat. You are here. We are live. Amazing. Come in, get comfortable, give us a hi and give me a few seconds of time to ensure that everybody who wants to join us is inside the room and is able to see us and hear us. I am assuming that my audio is fine, that you can all hear me. And I'm seeing wonderful people here from all over the world, people from India, from California, the Netherlands, Arizona, amazing. Hello and welcome, guys. All right, so if you are joining us right now, come in, let us know where you are joining from. We are going to start in just a few seconds. So give us a hi, let us know where you are from, and also let me know if you've been part of the Beyond Online Writing Bootcamp these last few days. Um, if you've been a bootcamper and if you've been with me in the last few training days, let me know in the comments as well. While I am bringing up my slides to get started with all of you. All right. Um, my slides are here. I'm seeing you all in the chat. Amazing. Okay. Um, before I dive into today's masterclass, which is all about the four step process you can use to turn your passion into a thriving online business, I want to talk about a few very quick rules so that we all get the best experience from this event. Um, turn off everything that is operating in the background and that could disturb your um, experience. We all know how it is, right? You have the webinar running on the back end and you don't even know where the voice is coming from. Don't let that happen to you. Let this be your time of really soaking up everything that we are about to talk about here. Um, don't get disturbed. Allow yourself to, to be here and be present without any notifications and uh, anyone or anything disturbing you. Um, our chat is being moderated. Uh, we won't tolerate any spam or any links. So um, please respect the time of the others as well as my team when, when using the chat options here. We'd love to see you there. So come say hi. Let us know how what you think about all the stuff that I'm going to share today, um, but also be respectful of others. And yeah, give yourself the time to discover something new. I'm all excited about how you're going to use the strategies we are going to talk about today. So let's get into it. Drop a yes in the chats, just so I can be sure that you are all here and you know why you're here. If you'd love to learn how to turn your either your existing knowledge, your passion, or your content that you've already created and the audience that you've already built into a reliable, independent, and profitable business so you can successfully monetize your work online. This is what this is all about. This is why we are here. So give me a big yes in the chat if that's why you are here as well. I will just wait a few seconds because... I am not seeing your comments in real time. So I'm seeing all the amazing locations here now. I'm seeing we have people from all over the US. I'm seeing Serbia, Bangladesh, amazing. So hello and welcome everyone who joined us a few minutes late. Amazing, okay. Um, if you are meeting me for the very first time, I quickly want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sinem. It's a Turkish name, in case you are wondering. Um, and I am here today to show you how to turn your passion and your strengths into an independent and thriving online business. So you can make money doing what you really love and what you enjoy and what you are hopefully also really good at. Uh, while bringing value to the world, while actually making an impact and a difference in other people's lives as well. And I want you to do all of that without working yourself to that and without constantly producing new content and constantly worrying about what to produce and what to put out there. Um, that's not the kind of strategy I will talk about. Um, I'm here to really show you how you can have a streamlined business that allows you to live your life on your own terms. I believe that uh, living and working doesn't necessarily happen separately and that we can have the most fulfilled lives when 
our work is actually integrated into our lives in a way that it feels good and it makes us feel good about the work we personally do. So this is why we are here today. I have a few very quick principles that I love to share. Um, to me, or I have spent a lot of time actually in the last few years thinking about what success means to me personally. I, I, I don't like the idea of thinking of success just in terms of numbers or uh, in terms of comparing yourself to other people, etc. For me, success means nothing if you don't enjoy what you do. Um, I believe that our work is a significant part of our lives. I don't believe that you are your work. Um, I think it's actually one of the worst things in the world that when we ask someone, what are you doing? Uh, that we actually subconsciously always talk about our work. I think our personality is a lot more than that. Um, but I think if, if you consider how many hours in our lifetime we spend working, I believe this is actually an incredibly important area of our lives and that it's pretty hard to live a completely fulfilled life if you don't enjoy what you are doing for a living especially if you spend so much time doing it. So this is number one. Um, I also believe that success means nothing without peace of mind. Like if you have lots and lots of success in your business, but you kind of freak out before going to bed because you receive annoying emails from your customers or you cannot even sleep at night or you get up in the morning and you are already stressed because... Um, of deadlines, whatever, I think that's not the best way to go either. So this is one of my core principles as well. And last but not least, I also believe success means nothing if you need to sacrifice either your relationships or your health. Um, I believe we all, as people who are here, as people who are ambitious and want to learn something new, we probably know that feeling, you know, when, you, when you're really busy and um, you have lots to do. Probably the first thing you sacrifice is your workout routine or going on a nice walk or eating healthy. And the next thing is taking care of your relationships, whether that's friends or even family members. Maybe you start to be a little snappy and mean to your co-workers. I think it's human. We all do it. I just believe it's, it's um, not necessary and we can take care of all those things while really enjoying what we do and being greatly successful at what we're doing. Um, just to give you a heads up, if you stay until the end of today's session, we will send you um, a few gifts. You will get three blueprints that we hope will help you. Those are actually similar to the worksheets you received in the boot camp in case you've been part of the boot camp. So if you stay until the very end, you will uh, receive those via email. Plus, I like being upfront. Of course, if you stay with me until the end, you will also be presented to the opportunity to work with me uh, in a in-depth program if you decide to do so. So we've been, you, many of you have been with me for the last, it's now the fourth day of the bootcamp. And I hope that you had a lot of insights, a lot of ideas, and that you've been able to come up with a lot of answers. But I also believe that you actually um, still have a lot of questions and we're going to answer a lot of them here. So we have a lot of time, uh, thankfully, for this masterclass compared to the other trainings. We're going to cover a lot of strategies, a lot of other ideas that I hope you will be able to implement right away. But those of you who want to take the next step will be able to do that. Now, let me get clear of what you can expect. This training is for you if you love sharing your passion and knowledge with the world. So whether that's writing, I know that's true for many of you here, whether that's um, you know having a podcast, having a YouTube, having Instagram, whatever it is, in some form you enjoy sharing a certain message with the world. Or you'd love to get started on content creation or sharing your, your message with the world, but you don't really know how and you are kind of stuck with that idea and you've been stuck for a while and you finally want to take action. You also want to make a positive impact and you aren't afraid of showing up because you know that if you want to make an impact, you actually need to get out there and reach people. Um, you are, I believe, a busy person who is not interested in wasting your time on trial and error. You are here because you're interested in learning how to streamline processes, how to get things going, and how to do it in a very smart and efficient way. Um, I also believe that you feel like you are working hard if you are someone who is already creating content. 
to create endless amounts of, of valuable pieces of content, but you just don't get the results you necessarily desire. Maybe you are stuck in a loop where you feel like you're doing and churning pieces out and, and you're producing and putting it out into the world, but you just feel like that's that's uh, that cannot really be all of it and you feel like there must be something else. You are not necessarily in the right place if you don't really care about your audience or your message, but you're purely focused on achieving your financial goals. Um, you are also not in the right place if you think that this training is a quick fix to any of your problems in terms of making money online or it is a presentation that will show you how to get rich quick um, if any of this applies and you are here then I'm so sorry but you're probably in the right or not in the right place you're in the wrong place and there was some sort of miscommunication um, it's also not for you if you're always signing up to trainings like this one but you never really apply what you learn and if you are not willing to do the actual work. Um, I hope that a lot of the ideas I'll share with you will stick with you for a very long time, but I hope that, let me say until the end of this week, so we have Thursday today, you will have executed on at least one of those ideas um, to make a positive change in your um, journey on, on building your own independent and um, profitable online business. Um, and in order to make you feel what this could mean for you, I want you to imagine what your life would actually look like and feel like if you didn't have to churn out endless amounts of content every single month. And if you could build a real community of people who appreciate you for who you are and for what you do, because they know what kind of message and what kind of knowledge and passion you have for your topic. And they love to pay you for the work you do because they genuinely trust you and appreciate you. Um, and also imagine what it would feel like and look like, what your life would look like if you could finally do what you love full time. I know that a lot of you who are here with me today, you are probably creating content on the side. You have a full time job still. Uh, maybe you call it your little side hustle, but you would really love to take it into a full-time um, business. Um, and, and I think this is the greatest gift for anyone who is actually really passionate about what, what she's doing. So this is obviously what I hope for all of you. And when I talk about these things, a lot of people ask me, well, is that even possible? Like, um, is it even possible to share information online and really make a living through that and i believe that my partner philip and i are actually the best examples because this is exactly what we did over the last three years we went from having no idea and i'll talk a bit about that in a few minutes to moving into our dream apartment with this incredible view that i'm still grateful for every single day um, we get to travel several months per year and we get to do that while doing a job or running a business that we genuinely enjoy and um, I believe if we made that step and and we are not even native speakers you probably realized that right in the beginning right um, and we've been able to build a business with a community of tens of thousands of community members from all over the world we've been able to create amazing products programs digital products but also physical products like journals and books and we didn't have any kind of advantage or, or prior knowledge before starting that kind of uh, venture. So I think if we did it, it actually probably means that anyone can do it. Um, however, there is a reason why it doesn't work for so many people. And if things didn't work out for you yet, and you feel like you actually know a lot, but it just didn't click that, that uh, you know, the, the income you desire and the results that you desire, it just doesn't seem to happen. Um, it's probably not even your fault because we've been there too. And I know that a lot of people teach strategies that are either not working because they don't deliver significant results if you are not willing to work extra hours every single day. And um, as I said, that's not necessarily what I want for any of you. Um, some of these strategies are completely outdated, but a lot of people are not aware of this fact because they are so convinced that what they did 
years ago is still the way to do things, which often isn't true, obviously, because in this entire online business space, we're living in a very fast-paced environment. Um, a lot of the strategies probably also feel scammy or unnatural to you personally. Some of them might only work if you have a huge marketing budget. And I, I this is actually one of the things that I really hate because when I started my business, I didn't have tons of money to experiment and to just run ads or to, to try a lot of different tactics and strategies that people were talking about simply because I didn't have the resources. And that's also the last point, right? A lot of people um, share strategies that are really nice that could work, but they are only applicable if you have a whole team that is supporting you in doing all of these things. And that's not the background I come from. Like, my partner and I, we started with not much money on the side. We started with not being able to actually invest in a huge team and invest in into huge marketing campaigns. That's what we call bootstrapping, right? We started with what we had. We started with a small community. We started with the ideas and the resources we had. And from there, we expanded. And now I'm able to speak with hundreds of you in this wonderful boot camp, in this wonderful masterclass. And we have community with tens of thousands of people all over the world who are um, just the loveliest people across the world. And whenever I um, teach, but as actually in my entire business, I'm actually following four main rules. Um, and these rules actually allow me to ignore some of those strategies that I just talked about. Um, I put people first because um, maybe you remember we talked about this in the first training day of the masterclass as a creator, as an entrepreneur, actually anyone who is making money one way or the other, your money, your income is coming from somewhere, right? As creators and as entrepreneurs, your income is going to come from other people because either they are paying for your content on a platform like Medium, for example, but most importantly, you want to serve them on a next level and go beyond that writing. They will be paying you for other kinds of services and products that you're going to be able to offer. If you don't put people first, you're not going to be able to create value for these people, which brings me to the second point, which is genuine value and transformation. Um, providing information is nice, but it is not necessarily helpful. What you really want to do is give them a way to make a real change in their lives. And I'm talking about your audience. Um, the other thing is freedom is my inner compass. This is one of the things that I have actually written down here on my desk. Whenever I make a decision, whether it's a business decision or a general life decision, um, I ask myself, is this going to give me freedom or is it going to take my freedom away? That's one of the main criteria that I use when judging decisions. And last but not least, um, when I talk about business, I talk about profit and not about vanity metrics. Um, you will hear me a few times in this presentation talking about followers and email subscribers, etc. But at the end of the day, it's not about followers, it's not about subscribers, it's not about likes. Um, those are all vanity metrics that don't matter at all. At the end of the day, especially for most of you being here as you know, people who want to run a single person business, you just want to you know, build your own digital empire from the comfort of your home. Maybe you want to work on your couch most days and you don't even want to leave the, how leave the house. Um, how many followers you have is, is so irrelevant. At the end of the day, it only comes down to are you able to make money doing what you are doing? And they, are you able to pay the bills and live life according to your own desires and needs? Because followers won't pay the bills. You know, email subscribers won't pay the bills if you don't know what to do and how to actually monetize um, your efforts. So Always be careful when someone talks about vanity metrics and, and even revenue numbers without really talking about what the bottom line is. Um, I want to give you a very quick overview about my story because I can see that we have a lot of new members here actually in the training who have never been to one of my trainings, I believe. Um, so actually leave a comment in the chat 
right now and and um, let me know if you're brand new to one of my trainings or if you've ever been to one of my trainings. So just let me know if you are new, give me a new and uh, give me a, I don't know, don't say old, but say I'm not here for the first time or, or tell me if you've been a boot camper and, and if you've enjoyed any of my trainings in the past. All right, so my story is basically... Um, in a nutshell, from being a desperate student who didn't really know what she wanted to do with their life to making um, multiple six-figure profits in less than two years. I started my entrepreneurial journey, and I talked a bit about this in our VIP sessions in the, next, in the last few days, right? Um, I started my entrepreneurial journey by offering in-person workshops, especially for students. So this is a photo, actually, of our very first workshop that was back in 2000. 17 so we were meeting up with people and and uh, coaching them and training them for an entire day and then um i did that for years and i really enjoyed it and it was fun but at the same time i realized that it's not necessarily what i wanted to do forever mainly due to the fact that it was um i had a very packed schedule i was running from one workshop from one presentation from one pitch to the other and um i i learned a lot i had the pleasure to work with a lot of people but at the same time i realized this is probably not how i want to spend the rest of my life i also saw the other side where i was in a um corporate job and I hated it. Like, I know this is not true for everyone. And there are a lot of people who are very happy in their corporate jobs, but I hated it. And this so is actually a picture on my Instagram channel, uh, which I always have to laugh about because I posted this at the end of 2018 when uh, I had the last day at this job. And I was so sure that this is going to be my very last uh job actually my very last employment and that's also what it was um and i don't believe that i will ever go back because um what i discovered afterwards and i'm going to talk about this a bit now is is what i really enjoy and um on the side while doing all these things i've also been writing on medium and i've been able to when i decided to take the leap and actually you know go for it I was able to scale my earnings on Medium relatively quickly. So I went from making, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks per month to um, suddenly making a full-time income. Um, and of course, it was not magic. Like I, I did change a lot of things and I totally changed the way I use the platform and I was able to, to significantly scale my earnings um, and have now built an audience of more than 50,000 followers there. That's a vanity metric. What's not a vanity metric is the fact that I'm reaching millions of readers on the platform every single year for the past three years since I've really been writing regularly. So uh, difference between having a vanity metric versus having a real number that shows you that um, the vanity metric is actually valid. And now, um, I also had the pleasure to work with and being featured in uh, major publications, in this case, for example, in Business Insider. Um, and uh, after that, you know, after, after seeing that the numbers here, I actually went all in on, on my writing. But after a couple of months, I realized that this cannot be all of it. This cannot be the end of my journey. Like I cannot write for an external platform forever. And most importantly, I cannot uh, rely on my earnings being based on an external platform forever. Um, and if you're a writer on Medium, you probably know that, right? Your earnings can fluctuate even if you are earning a lot, um, which has been the case for me it can go up and down. And even if down means you are, you know, still making a full-time income and still earning a lot, it was just not what I wanted to experience for the rest of my life. And as I've always had this entrepreneurial background and, and um, I would call it mindset, I went into creating offers, creating products and creating, um, services that could be of value for my readers and this is for me the, this has been the only bright side because this is how i was able to actually control my income this is how i was able to scale my income and how i was able to actually detach the number of hours i work from 
the amount of money I make. Because if, if you're constantly churning out content, you're going to be stuck in a certain loop, right? But if you decide to go that next step, serve your audience on, on the next level and actually monetize your audience through additional ways, you're suddenly able to make a totally different income while actually reducing the number of hours you work and building something that is a lot more sustainable and reliable. And I really became obsessed with this idea of being independent and building something that is a lot bigger than just the content that I share online. And uh, what this means for you is that you don't need to be a professional to start. You know, I, I, I shared my story with you of how I've not been a professional before I started. Like I didn't have a background in any kind of online business or in writing. I just went for it and I was curious enough to learn how to become better every single day, how, every single week and, and month by month. It also means that everyone starts at zero, really. This is something a lot of people kind of want to overlook. But as I've shown you, as, as everybody will tell you, you know, everyone starts with zero followers, with zero products, with zero email subscribers. You just go from there. And the earlier you start, the sooner you will reap the rewards. Um, and it also shows that anyone who is willing to do it can make this work, right? As I said, there was nothing special about my journey. Um, I didn't have any kind of extra support or knowledge that you cannot have as well. I'm not a native speaker. I didn't have any kind of professional background or education in any of these fields. All right. Um, let me know again in the chat if uh, you haven't done it so far, if you are brand new here or if you are or if you've been writing on Medium for a while and if you've uh, been to one of my trainings in the past. I'm already seeing a few comments. I'm seeing Isabel saying I've joined once before. Wendy saying I've been to the boot camp, uh, been to the MWA, uh, seeing Bootcamp, Bootcamp, um, saying Christian, saying brand new, ready to learn. Amazing. So we have a very mixed group. This is awesome. All right, let's dive into the four-step process that I have actually promised, right? Um, let me dive straight into it. If you have any questions during um, the presentation, drop your comments into the chat box. I will um, try to have a Q&A session at the very end of the training where we get back to your questions. All right, um, the four steps that you need always, always start by attracting your audience. This is um, actually the step that many of you who are still, who are already creating content, who are on Medium, who are on other platforms are already doing, even if you are not doing it consciously, right? Um, you, if, if you want to make money by sharing your knowledge, your passion, your ideas online, you always have to go to the first place of asking yourself, okay, how am I going to reach people? In this stage, you will ask yourself, how and where will you reach your audience? So this could be a platform like Medium, but it could be any other platform as well. Um, then you will ask yourself, how exactly will you make sure that you are able to reach your audience more than just once? So our boot campers already know uh, we have been talking a lot about newsletters, right? Um, in, in my opinion and experience, that's the most powerful way to continue the conversation. Um, and then there are a lot of follow up questions like how do you introduce yourself to your audience members? Like, how do you make sure they actually want to stay in touch with you? They, they want to bond with you. So in this stage of the journey, you take your potential audience member who doesn't even know that you exist to a place where they at least know you and know that you exist and that that um, or what your work is all about and Hopefully, you also take them to a place where they want to hear more about your work. So this is stage one. It's attraction. It's where a lot of people get to see you, get to see your content, and then they decide if they want to move on on this journey or not. So the image you can see here, this is what we call... Um, uh, what, what we call a funnel, right? So at the top of the funnel, we have a lot of people who might discover our work. 
some of them will want to learn more from us. Some of them will want to subscribe to our emails, to our um, other channels, and others will not. And this is why the funnel is always getting smaller and smaller. Um, before we go on to the next step of the funnel, I actually want to share a bit of a painful truth with you that um, these are actually the things that I wish somebody had told me years ago and nobody did because um, nobody was really talking about these things when I started. Um, and one of these truths is that any of these platforms or none of these platforms that you are on probably care about you as the creator. Um, and I know this might sound a little painful, so I'll make a very quick break here <laughs> to take a sip of water. So yes, um, this kind of hurts, but um, if you've been part of the bootcamp, if you've been part of the round table, for example, um, maybe you've heard Tony talking about this, right? So. Um, platforms, of course, you know, are dependent on creators, but on the other side, what matters a lot more to any platform is the consumers, because at the end of the day, there are a lot of creators who create more content than anyone could ever consume. And on the other side, um, you know, if you would leave a platform, there are still many, many other people who could probably share similar news. So. Don't ever make the mistake of thinking that you are safe, no matter how big you are, no matter how many followers you have, whatever it is, because um, you believe the platform needs you. I believe that no platform needs me or my work and that I could be gone in an instant. So um, at first, this was kind of a painful truth to embrace, but now it actually gives me more freedom because I don't need to take care of you know, making sure that I fit other people's or, or companies' expectations. And instead of that, I can really go in my own way and do things in my own way. Because I know that the platform is doing the exact same thing, right? If Medium makes changes, for example, they make changes that benefit them and the readers. And I mean, hopefully they would take their writers into account as well. That's, that's what I hope. And that's what I think they are doing actually really well. But still, you as a creator, you have to think of you as the company and, and take care of how you can actually stand on your own feet and be independent no matter um, where you start and, and where you are going. And one way to do that is obviously growing your email list. This is what we talked about, right? A lot of you here are probably already very, very excited about getting started and building your email list. So if you're in the chat with me, let me know. Um, so let me know if you already have an email list or if you have started one just recently, or if you are thinking about starting one in the next few days. So um, this has been something that um, was actually a very smart move from my and my partner's side. We started our email list relatively early. I mean, we could have been even earlier, but still, uh, we've been able to to build um, audiences of thousands of people on our email lists now, which has been, you know, which is the foundation of running a business that it, that can actually stand on its own. And uh, maybe some of you might um, now ask themselves, you know, okay, how do I build my email list? My go-to favorite platform is ConvertKit. Um, you can check it out. They have free plans for creators who are just getting started. They have a lot of great resources. Um, it's what I've been using for the past three years and um, what I can really recommend, even if you're brand new. Now, some of you might be asking, okay, but isn't that an external platform too? Like if I use a platform like ConvertKit, for example, isn't ConvertKit then in, in a powerful position because they have my email list? Well, yeah, kind of, but you can and should do regular backups of your email lists um, because this is how you ensure that your list is actually yours. You can download your entire email list and upload it to other places when, when you want to change your platform, for example, or when anything goes wrong or when anything could go wrong with your email list provider or your email tool. 
uh, for example, deleting your account, banning your account, whatever. This doesn't happen really often, to be honest. But if you want to be on the safe side, just do regular backups and you are safe because you basically get an um, get a spreadsheet with all the information that you personally own without any connection to the email list. So this is something we do regularly and that we recommend to all our students. Um, and now we get into one of my favorite parts, actually. I am not always a numbers person. I like to listen to my gut feeling oftentimes, but when it comes to certain business decisions or to, to helping you understand the power of um, certain metrics, I like to talk numbers. And one of those numbers that I, I find really inspiring and exciting is um, email subscriptions. Take a guess and let me know in the chat box how many email subscribers you believe you need to run a profitable and healthy, solid online business. Give me your guess in the chat box. And I'm really excited to see your guesses. I'll take a look in just a few seconds. I will give you a few moments to, to make a guess and to let me know in the chat box. And then I'll move on to actually giving you the answer. All right, seeing lots and lots of comments. I love that. Keep the conversation going. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat box too. All right, um, let me move on here. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people who haven't started the lists yet and a lot who already have. Amazing, okay. Let me move on to the answer to my question. Um, if done correctly, if you know how to do it, if you have a solid strategy, you can make, or a great average is that you can make um, $1 per subscriber per month. And this is incredibly inspiring because it means if you have a thousand email subscribers, for example, uh, you could make $1,000 per month or $12,000 uh, in a year and so on. So if you have 5,000 subscribers, you could make $5,000 per month. With 10,000 subscribers, you could make $10,000 per month. Uh, this is kind of an average or this is what you could aim for. Um, if you are not able to monetize your email list, it means that there is something off. Either you don't have the right people on your list who actually want to hear from you and want to work with you, want to pay for your products or services, or your strategy is just a bit off and you are not um, creating the offers, the products, the services that your audience would need. Or on the other side, it could also be possible, maybe you haven't even tried to monetize your email list, but if you tried, maybe you just haven't figured out how to successfully offer your own products and services to your audience. So this is a great average to look at. However, uh, I also want to inspire you a bit. Um, the truth is that you can outperform this average. Uh, Philip and I, we made our fi first six figures with less than 4,000 subscribers. So if you know how to do it, if you have a solid strategy and you stick to it, you know what you're doing and you have a strong community, you can actually monetize your list uh, in a lot stronger ways than these averages that I have um, just presented to you. So um, I hope that this is actually inspiring you to aim higher and uh, go bigger. All right, um, let's move on to the second step of the process. So in the first step, we have talked about attracting our audience, right? Now in the second step, it's all about engagement because you might attract your audience on a platform like uh, Medium, like Instagram, like YouTube. Well, what do you do next? And next, the questions are, how do you ensure that these audience members want to work with you? I mean, want to work with you might sound a little bit too strict, but in the first step, it's actually about wanting to hear more from you, wanting to consume more content, wanting to have an ongoing conversation. So one of those questions is also, how do you get them to interact with you? Because a successful business in our space, in the online space, actually is based on conversations. As I said, this is all about 
human relationships, not about weird scammy marketing tactics, not about huge tech weird things that you do on the back end. It's all about having people who trust you and having people who want to work with you, who want to consume your emails, your content and everything that you put out there. So how do you get them to interact with you, right? This is an important question. And how do you build a sense of community and belonging? This is incredibly important because if your audience has a problem and they are looking for a solution, they would probably love to actually get into touch with other people with a similar problem. Now, there is a reason why so many people love being in communities, right? Why they love paying for membership areas, paying for all sorts of masterminds, etc. because it's a sense of belonging. It makes you feel like you are in the right place, even here now, right? We have hundreds of people here in this room and you all have at least a few things in common. Like you are here because you have similar questions, because you have similar goals, similar aspirations. And this is beautiful because you know that you are in the right room. Like you could connect with some of the members here afterwards. You could uh, come join one of our communities um, and have, have an ongoing conversation with us and with our community members because you obviously belong here and you're at the right place. Now, at this stage of your journey, you want to take people from not knowing why they should trust you at all to engaging with you because they trust you and they believe that you are able to provide some sort of help. This could mean replying to your email newsletters, for example. This is one of the most wonderful things. So if some of you have actually replied to our newsletters in the, next, in the last few days, uh, thank you. You know, we are not always able to to respond to each and every one, but we are actually reading all of them. And we are glad about being in that connection and relationship with all of you and, and being able to actually email you and provide valuable resources regularly. Um, another another um, way is obviously having your community set up on a platform like Facebook. Right. Um, if they trust you, if they are there and they have this ongoing conversation with other community members as well that's just beautiful because it means that they feel safe and they know that you can provide help to their solutions so this is the second step um, it's the step of building engagement and taking your audience from just having discovered your work to actually being an engaged audience member these are your most powerful um, audience members because they will help you actually grow your entire business. Now that we've covered this part, um, I actually want to go to the second secret because it fits this part very well. Um, and I think this is something a lot of you might be a little afraid of, uh, but the secret is actually a positive one. Um, it's the fact that you don't need to be a tech person to start and grow a profitable online business. Like um, you don't need to have a great understanding of technology. You don't have to uh, be very familiar with, you know, dozens of tools. And I totally understand if this is a thought that kind of <laughs> makes you freak out because you don't feel like that tech person. Um, actually let me know and type in the chat, just give me a me in the chat. If you feel a little anxious, at least a little, uh, when you think about all the tech stuff. So for example, about setting up your newsletter, about sending out an email to dozens of people or hundreds or thousands of people, maybe at a certain point about creating your first ebook, about creating your first, um, maybe online course about, um, I don't know, things like setting up your website or all the other things that you probably had in mind. Give me a little yes or a little me in the chat and let me know if any of these thoughts have actually led to at least a bit of fear and anxiety just recently because you feel like this might be so complicated and it might be so hard to actually deal with all these different tools and strategies that they all offer. All right. Um, I'm actually seeing one question in the chat box that I want to quickly address um, from Maria. She is asking, is there a specific go signal before starting a newsletter, like maybe a certain number of published articles or total views? Your go signal 
is the moment you start to produce content online. Like if you've been waiting for a go signal, this is it. The sooner you start, the better. If you are already creating content online and you are serious about doing it for you know more than just a few days and you really want to turn this into a solid business, this is your time, <laughs> get started. Um, don't wait for, for a number of followers, articles, views, etc. Because you never know if, if one article is suddenly going to blow up and reach a lot more people than all your articles have reached in total. And if that happens, you don't want to be in a place where you didn't have your newsletter set up. The sooner you start, the better, honestly. Um, Another question related to newsletters is from Diana uh, asking, but doesn't that depend on how often you communicate with them uh, every week, month, etc.? I think this was related to the earnings slide. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, and I'll, I'll get back to it. But the income you generate or the money you make through your newsletter is not necessarily related to how often you email them because... Uh, there are successful newsletters or successful creators who email their their lists, you know, monthly, as you said. Some do it weekly, and some send multiple emails per week. It depends on how you decide to communicate with your audience. Uh, but it, that, this doesn't necessarily um, shape your income. If you are emailing them monthly because um, you don't have a solid strategy, because you don't know what to send them and you are just not showing up often enough, that's a bad thing. But if monthly is your strategy and you go for it and your audience knows that and you're still able to offer valuable products and services, this could work as well. It, I mean, it's it's. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because I think it's really hard to build a relationship in the beginning if you just email them monthly. Um, I would recommend at least weekly or every 14 days, but um, sending out more newsletters or sending out more emails doesn't mean that you're going to make more money. So I guess that was the question and I hope the answer is helpful. All right, um, let's move on to why you don't need to be a tech person in order to successfully build your digital empire and monetize your passion online. Um, it's not about the tech, it's about human relationships. That's um, the core belief that my partner and I lead. It's all about how do you want to help people and are you willing to go that extra mile in your content, but also in your products. People will buy your products and services or they will hire you. They will want to work with you because they will trust you, not because your tech is perfect. You never made a purchase because you thought, oh, my God, this website looks so perfect. I need to, you know, throw my credit card at them. That's not how it works. You make purchases because you have a deep desire to have this thing, this product, this service, because you really want to have it. If you have the solution to a problem other people have or to a desire other people have, your pages don't necessarily need to be perfect. Your emails don't need to be perfect. You need to have all these things figured out, of course, but it's not about the tech side. It's about do people trust you? Are people valuing your opinion and the information you share so that they actually want to pay you for more of what you are already doing? And um, this is why you really need to focus on trust, on genuine relationships and on value. And this is one of the reasons we talked in detail about your unique sweet spot in yesterday's training, for example, because if you are talking about 15 different topics, it's going to be really hard for you to build genuine relationships and trust because people are not going to be 100% sure what you even stand for. They are not going to be sure what exactly you talk about, how exactly you could help them and why exactly they should trust you, right? So this is a pain point. Um, all you need to really do is show up and care. And this is an example I love so much because I'm honestly proud of myself for doing this. I have been there and, and have shown up, I don't know how many times by now, but dozens of times in my Facebook community, for example, with live streams, with live video interviews, and really just delivered pure value to my audience. 
I've, I've been doing that for three years now. And I did that even though I was freaking out and I was not feeling comfortable and I was not feeling like doing it. Like, um, I know that you might always think that this person on the other side of the screen, she's super confident and, and she totally, you know, feels comfortable in what she's doing. It's not necessarily the case. When I started to do these live streams, it was mostly because my partner kind of pushed me to do them. I was totally freaking out. I was not comfortable on camera and you don't need to be comfortable on camera, right? You, this is not the only way to deliver value your value could be based on the stories you write the emails you write an ebook you write whatever it is you can build incredibly deep and meaningful relationships just through words if you don't want to be on camera especially on video that's perfectly fine but this is a way i do did it and i'm incredibly proud of having done it and and of of um actually you know having taking that step outside of my comfort zone, because by now I obviously love being here with people just like you and being able to, to deliver trainings that are more in depth than I could actually describe in a written piece of content. All right. Um, and yeah, this is actually also the kind of feedback we get when we work with, with our students. So this is actually one of our students from the last cohort of our business building program who basically said, working with Sinem and Philip feels like family. And this is the best kind of feedback we could ever receive. Like if someone feels like this is genuine help and, and support that they get when they work with us, there is no better kind of feedback that we could get because this is you know, this is why we are doing what we are doing. I'm not here to give you a few quick hints and then let you do all the work on yourself. I want to do it with you. And if this feels like genuine support, I've, I've done a good job, obviously. And me and Philip have done a good job. Uh, another piece of content or another piece of feedback we received is from Victoria, who has um, also been part of our last cohort of our uh, business building program, where she said, you know, we're always open to giving you personalized feedback and supporting your goals. And that's that's the only reason we do what we do, because we love working with creators. We love seeing your business shine and seeing your products and services develop. We actually talked a bit about Victoria in um, yesterday's stream. Uh, so, so those of you who've been part of yesterday's training will probably remember that, right? When we talked about a lady who has uh, been an SEO expert and who has left her full-time job um, earlier this year and moved to a different country had actually has actually just recently um, bought her very first own apartment. So incredibly inspiring um, person, incredibly inspiring stories that she writes. You know, this is the best kind of feedback we could obviously get. And this is not because our pages look perfect because our website looks perfect because our tech works perfectly no it's because we genuinely care and we ask people what they need and how how we can be of service to them um we have the third step now and i'm seeing a lot of you in the comments i'm trying to to keep up with some of the questions um but uh, we'll have a bit more time for them at the very end. Um, let me just quickly scan if there is anything related to what I just said. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we'll talk about some of the questions later on, but I'm not seeing anything related to what I just said. So let's just continue. Um, the third step is conversion. In the third step, you actually want to create um, offers to your audience that are of actual value and that help your audience go from one place they are at to where they want to go. Those of you who've been in the bootcamp, you remember it's the bridge, right? What is something you can create and that you can actually ask for, for that you can actually ask your audience to purchase that helps them cross the bridge. I always say think of your content, but also of your paid offers as a bridge to taking your audience from one side to the other side. You don't need to help them, you know, make, you know, circle the entire globe and, and um, or, or, or walk thousands of miles. You just need to help them cross that little bridge 
that they are struggling with and that they could probably not cross without you or that would just take them a lot longer. It would probably cost them more. It would be a lot more painful or whatever their problem is. So the questions here are, how do I create something that my audience will happily pay for because they want it, not because um, I insist on creating it because I believe it is a good thing to create. And how do I present it to them without feeling salesy or spammy? I know that is something a lot of you don't want either, right? You don't want to come across as the annoying marketing person who is just throwing her products at you. That's not what you want. You want to deliver value. You know that you have a very big you know, knowledge and passion for your topic. You want to show up. You want to deliver value. But at the end of the day, you also need to pay your bills. So you need to be able to actually... Um, create offers that are of value so that people want to pay for them. So the question is, how do I sell with confidence and joy? This is a journey. It takes some time. Luckily, you are the boss, so you can decide. You know, you can you can start very small by by creating a product like an ebook or a few PDF files that you sell to your audience for five dollars for $10, whatever it is, you can start as small as you want. And from there, just move on and, and get more and more comfortable over time, right? You don't need to start by creating a huge product. In fact, that's not necessarily what I would recommend. Start small, get comfortable and, and test and learn so that you can actually be very, very proud and, you know, actually confident about your ideas and about how your audience loves what you are doing so that you can then move on. So this is um, the third step. And um, here we basically take our audience members from enjoying our free content to happily paying for products and services that we create because we are so sure that they will actually be of value for the audience. Um, and I actually have um, one of my favorite examples here with me. So this is something I don't see a lot of people talk about. This is something I don't see a lot of people do, but this is something all of you who are here now who are already creating content um, could do. So if this is, um, you know, if, if you are curious about how exactly you could monetize your audience and, and the work that you already do, this is for you. Um, if you are writing on Medium, this is going to look familiar. So um, if you are on a content creation platform, you pretty much always have the opportunity to have a call to action, right? Um, you have the opportunity to send your audience to a what we call freebie so this in this case it is a free ebook with 42 actionable lessons to improve your motivation productivity confidence and relationships this is what you do this is what you can find on every single um, story on medium that i have ever published there's going to be one call to action that is leading to at least one of my free offers what you do after clicking on this link is signing up for the freebie and also signing up for the newsletter. But what a lot of people don't know that there is actually the possibility to have a step in between. So what you can do is when you click on my link, you end up on this page where you actually get access to what I promised to you. So you get access to um, an ebook with more than 40 lessons from some of my favorite personal development books. Um, so this is what you get access to if you leave your email there. But what then happens is you have the opportunity to actually get access to more. So the moment you complete this form, you get access to what I've promised. So it, it, it already, um, you know, is, is sent to your inbox, but then you are also being asked if you want to upgrade and get more than 550 lessons of the books that I personally read and loved instead of um, just the 42 that you have um, received before. You might be surprised by how many people are actually so excited about taking this offer and, and actually getting the full playbook instead of just sticking with the 40 lessons. This is something that happens automatically every time somebody signs up for my newsletter. 
and they even have the opportunity to upgrade to the audiobook version. So if somebody wants the audiobook because they love listening to, to book summaries, they can do this as well. So this is something happening on the back end. Actually, right now, while I'm talking to you, while I'm live on this session, there are probably people being on this page and, and um, actually making that purchase because my content is being seen by so many people. And this is something every single writer on Medium and everyone who is having their newsletter link somewhere could do, but most people don't do because they either didn't even know that they could do it um, or they don't know how to set it up or they are just afraid of doing it. The beautiful thing about this is it is just an opportunity. Nobody has to take it, right? But those who want can immediately get access to a lot more of my content if they want to and if, if they want to pay for it. This is a strategy we've been using for years now. And we already had a few talks about passive income, right? And um, this is the kind of passive income stream that you can build as a creator if you are actually willing to go that extra mile and think of resources that your audience might enjoy. So the majority of my, my content is obviously about personal development, about improving your life. So if I offer them more than 500 quick snippets of insights on, on how they could actually improve their lives through advice that was given in best-selling books and, and really popular books, my audience is going to love that. This is just going the extra mile of having created this, having all of this set up once. But then on the other side, you as the creator are earning earning um, or reaping the rewards because you have done it, because your audience likes it, and because your audience wants, wants to pay you to get access to this kind of information. So I hope this is actually inspiring um, some of you to, to think about these types of ideas in order to actually present um, something to your audience, um, even if it's just a very little offer, even if it's just something that is just a few dollars in order to get comfortable in the first place. And here is one of my um, favorite quotes that I love to actually mention in trainings like this one. It's from J.K. Rowling, where she said, I would like to be remembered as someone who did the best she could with the talent she had. And I think that's really all it is about. We are all here because we want to learn, because we want to improve, we want to build big things, but maybe we are not in that perfectly professional setting yet. Maybe we don't have everything figured out yet. We don't have a huge marketing budget. We don't have a huge team. And that's perfectly fine. Just do the best you can with the resources you have now. Do the best you can with the information you have now. Get access to the people who could help you right now in that stage of your life or business and then do the best you can. And a few weeks from now, you will be able to do a bit better. A few months from now, you will be able to do a bit better. You know, there are people who've been in part of my trainings years ago. And I think, you know, if, if they look back at what I, how I showed up, how, how I've been showing up, how I've been presenting my content back then, compared to now, I hope that they could be able to say that I improved at least a little bit because I went on and did it again and did it again and I did the best I could, even though I knew it was not perfect. So I hope this is one of those ideas you take with you, like do it your way, do it as good as you possibly can, but don't freak out about having anything completely figured out and having anything done perfectly at this stage of your business. All right. Um, now I am seeing a bunch of comments already from the previous questions, but give me a hint in the comments. Are you feeling at least a little afraid of doing any of these things? Um, I'm seeing many of you already saying that. I, I see Victoria saying, I do feel anxious. That is what is holding me back. Um, so, so let me know in the comments, is anything, any of the things that I just talked about, is it making you at least feel a little afraid of getting started, of doing some of these things? I'm assuming it's a big yes. So I'm also seeing people like, uh, Marilyn saying, I'm nervous about stepping up my medium game. 
Um, I'm seeing someone saying I'm far more anxious about the content than the technology. That's interesting too. I believe a, a lot of people will be able to relate to that as well. All right. Awesome. Let me know in the comments section. I'm always here seeing it, um, but um, let me move on here because I think this is going to, to change a bit of your view at least. I genuinely believe that imposters don't have imposter syndrome. And <laughs> my partner Philip hates me for saying that because he says this sounds so confusing. But honestly, if you feel like an imposter, if you feel like you are not good enough, it's probably because you really care. It's because you are taking this really seriously. If you are a little uncomfortable, a little afraid, it's totally fine. It shows that you care for your topic. It shows that you care for, you know, about your audience and about doing something that is truly valuable. You don't just want to get out there and sell trash or um, you know, publish trash and make money with that. That's not the point, right? I... The people who don't feel uncomfortable at all are usually the people who are, that I have seen, that don't necessarily deliver the best value. They show up and they are very sure of themselves, but they don't think about their audience as much as someone who is actually afraid of making a mistake, of, of being a little uncomfortable. You know, every time I'm about to hop on one of those trainings, I am not feeling comfortable. I am you know, totally uncomfortable. And I'm also excited and looking forward to it. But I'm also, you know, hoping that everything will work out fine, that you will all get the right links, that you will be able to join me on time, that I will have my slides, that everything works out. And I've done this dozens of times, maybe hundreds of times by, by now, right? Having imposter syndrome is not bad news it doesn't mean that you should you should stop doing it because you are not ready or because you are not good enough it just means that you care and that's actually a beautiful thing right now let me move on to the fourth stage um i i'm seeing a lot of you asking whether we could be able to provide the slides of this training um we'll take care of that so we have actually not prepared this yet um so um, I'm sure we will be able to provide it to you guys. So thank you for letting us know that you would love to see them. Um, that's, that's amazing. But uh, we will take care of it. So if you want the slides, you will get the slides. All right. Let's move on to the fourth stage. This is the delivery stage. This is a stage. This is actually a good point. Now, this is the stage. Those who don't have imposter syndrome, don't take too seriously. If you don't have imposter syndrome, you're going to be the person who says, I'm going to sell whatever it is. And once I sold it, it's done. That The rest is none of my business. If you are serious about your audience, if you genuinely care about their transformation, about their journey, you are going to spend a lot of time on this delivery part because you want to deliver the best possible products and services and offers to your audience. So the question here is, how do I create digital or physical products my audience will truly love, that they will love to use, that they will love to, to um, get access to? Because selling is one part. The other part is how do I actually do the things that I promised them to do? You know, maybe you want to host a training like this one. Maybe you send people an email saying, hey, I'm doing this training. Do you want to join me? Maybe you want to charge them something. You know, a lot of people do that. You could easily host a one hour training, two hour training, workshop, whatever it is, and charge, I don't know. 20 bucks for it, 50 bucks for it, whatever it is. I mean, just think of all the stuff that you've already learned here. If I would have asked you to, to pay 20 bucks for that, you would probably, looking back, you would have been happily, you would have happily paid it because you already got so much value out of it. At least that's what I hope. Um, so th these are the questions you can ask yourself in the last stage because you obviously do want to deliver. You, you do want to make sure that your customers in that stage are happy that they get the value they ask for and that they are actually able to, to bond with you even, even stronger and, and stay in the loop with you. Because if someone has purchased one of your products and has, has loved it, they're obviously much more likely to actually 
continue reading your newsletter, continue consuming your free stuff, but also supporting your paid products if, if you happen to provide anything else that could be of value to them. So here the question, the last question also is, how can I use existing platforms and patterns to monetize with ease? And what we want to do here is taking our audience from, I'm not sure how exactly I can make money or taking you from this stage to creating outstanding products and services and offers your audience will love. And if you have products, services, offers, that your audience loves and you get this feedback at least a few times from others, you will love to offer them. You will love to sell them. And the good news is you can start without selling them. You could write a book. You could pro, you know, create a few templates, a, a few PDFs. You don't need to write an entire book, but you could create a mini course, an audio course, whatever it is, and give it for free to five people on your email list. And tell them, hey, I created this. I'm looking for feedback to make it better. Would you like to take a look and provide your honest feedback? Maybe they are going to take a look and tell you that this is not really helpful. It is not really worth paying for. They wouldn't have paid for it. Or they're going to tell you that it's great and that they would have happily paid for it. Or it's going to be something in the middle and you're going to be able to make adjustments so that when you decide to sell it, you know that it is actually worth paying for. You can have that confidence before you get into the selling part. That's actually really important to know. You don't need to feel confident right away. Create it, test it, ask your audience for feedback, offer discounts if you want, or offer scholarships, offer your products for free until you actually know that it is of value and that you are not providing or offering crap to your audience. All right. Um, this is, as I said, one of the core ideas that Philip and I always preach and one of the beautiful feedbacks that we received from another student of our Freedom Business Accelerator last year was from Karen, who is a um, professional English coach, actually. So she is helping people um, be better English speakers um, in, in their jobs. And she said, I've done many courses to help me improve my online coaching business and they have never fully delivered. Sinem and Philip filled the, all of the gaps and actually delivered a system I can follow. And again, you know, this is the most wonderful feedback we could get because at the end, she was actually able to deliver results. She was able to close more clients with whom she works uh, in her coaching programs. She had actually figured out a way to very efficiently write and send emails that would um, lead to to having people on calls and and upgrading them to her paid coaching program. So this this was a wonderful journey to see as well. Uh, another student of ours is Lionel, and we also talked about him in yesterday's session. If you you've been part, you might remember the example I gave to you about the guy who had a heart attack and who then decided to not listen to the conventional advice of his doctors in terms of um, you know, taking medication every single day for the rest of his life and, and not being able to lead a normal life. So he didn't accept that and he wants to, he, he, he's been on that journey and, and uh, figured out for himself how not to do what his doctor said, but how to do it differently and live a life of more freedom um, and then he went on this journey to providing this information to others. And he said, I signed up to, to, uh, to the FBA key to refresh and gain new knowledge about launching and running an online business. What I didn't expect was the impact it would have on me. Um, and what was really fascinating to see is Lionel was actually still in his full-time job when he, um, was in our coaching calls and when we were talking to him and one day he just came in and he said, you guys, I used some of the strategies you taught us in my day job instead of in my in my side hustle. And um, it actually led to results that helped me get a five figure yearly raise. So he actually used what we thought to get a raise on his day job. And then he decided that he would actually stay in his day job because um, the raise was significant and because he still wanted to build his business on the side and um, keep the regular income because it, it just 
uh, made more sense for him specifically in, in that situation. And well, that was wonderful too, because it just showed that, you know, being able to build a business, build a community, those are skills that you can replicate and use in other stages of your life as well, right? All right. Um, we are seeing amazing comments in the chat and I'm actually curious to hear right now if you are excited about any of the ideas or strategies that I have just shared with you. Give me a... I'll do it in the comments if um, any of these are um, resonating with you, if any of that actually made you excited, and if you feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go do this, I want to do this. So give me an I'll do it in the chat box. All right, I'm seeing a lot of questions. Let me just quickly check if there is um, anything to cover. Uh, Victoria asked, when you add links to promote your business at the end of a Medium article, will this self-promotion prevent curation? No, it will not. Um, it, it will not. Um, it's, it's not against the rules. Everybody is doing it and you can happily do it. Um, just keep it short and sexy. Give us a few, give us a maximum of two lines um, of why people should sign up to your newsletter. So this is no problem with curation. Um, I have another question here from Christina asking, what tools do you use to create eBooks um, to sell and how do you make them downloadable, available to the consumer? Um, we use Canva often. This is, this is a free design tool that you can use. Um, it, it's something you could also use for freebies and eBooks. Um, to make them downloadable, available to the consumer, we personally use a few different tools. We use a tool called ClickFunnels um, to, to sell our products um, and also to deliver them. But you could be using any tool. There is a platform called Gumroad, for example, that makes it really easy to sell downloadable files. Um, our email marketing tool, which is ConvertKit, as I mentioned before, actually allows you to sell digital products as well. Like you could sell your ebook with your email marketing tool if it is ConvertKit. Maybe other email marketing tools are offering this as well. I just know that with ConvertKit, it is really easy to do. So, um, yeah, these are these are some ideas, for example, and. For our courses, we actually use Teachable. And just today, I have seen that they have recently added a new feature to separately sell downloadable files. So this is also an app option. So that's um, Teachable. Teachable. All right. Um, amazing. Let me move on here. So I'm seeing a lot of you there who are actually also saying that you are not afraid to take action, that you're excited, not anxious at all, says Joanne. Um, Christina also said, I'm not afraid at all. Uh, Curtis is saying it is actually making me more confident. Amazing. So <laughs> that, that's the best feedback that I could actually get. Awesome. All right, you guys, um, let's move on here. Um, the reason I'm sharing all of this with you is obviously because I want you to do this stuff. I want you to use your existing knowledge, your existing passion to build a business that lights you up. And I want you to imagine how it would feel if you can wake up in the morning and really do what you love. If you can create your own schedule and there is nobody telling you what to do, when to do, or how to do it, or how it's, or how it's gonna feel like if you know that your work makes a positive difference in other people's lives. How is it going to feel when you have full control over your income because you know how to monetize your own assets things, products, assets, um, offers, services that you have created that you are really proud of instead of relying purely on external platforms, external algorithms, or on the income you generate from your current employment that you don't enjoy, for example, or from a few, maybe you have freelance clients that you don't necessarily enjoy working with because you hate you know, the feedback loops, you hate the deadlines, you hate what you do for those clients. So imagine how all of that could actually have a positive impact on your day-to-day -day life. Like really don't think about the big, huge wins, but think about how it's going to feel like in your day-to-day -day life. Um, and I really believe that 
the way to achieve any of these goals is not constantly creating new content, publishing, hustling 24 seven, and really always trying to produce more and more content because you feel like you are not ready yet. And instead, having a more systematic, a more streamlined approach. And I believe if somebody is actually constantly in that hustle mode, they can only teach you how to do that. And I hope that being here, listening to me today, actually inspires you to do the opposite. If you look at any of my channels online, you will see that I actually do what I teach you here. I am not publishing all the time. I'm not creating new resources all the time because that's not what I want to do. I, if I would create new resources and new content all the time, I wouldn't have the time to actually have a meaningful conversation with my students and with my audience members. And that's, I hope, also what you want to do and how you want to, to um, successfully monetize your audience in the long run. All right, you guys, um, seeing a lot of you talking about fear, talking about the imposter syndrome, a lot of you have different thoughts on what it means to be a, uh, an imposter. So I am checking the comments one more time and um, just checking if there are any questions before we move on here. All right, perfect, you guys, I think we are ready to move on. So we talked for um, almost one and a half hours now, and I believe I could go on for hours and hours, but I'm sure you want to take things to the next level. And I hope that the ideas I gave you today have been inspiring, have been uh, motivating you to, to take some action to actually make a change. But I'm also sure you want to take things to the next level and actually create a change that is more sustainable and lasting than what such a training can actually do in just one and a half hours. And I really believe that you being here, you being here for this entire training, being here with me until up now, uh, means that it's time for you to step out of your own way and become 100% independent, become an independent creator, an independent digital entrepreneur who runs her own empire, who um, it shows up for her audience, who creates value, who provides great resources, and who confidently makes a living by doing what she loves. And there are actually two ways to do that, right? There is a Com complicated and confusing way where you don't necessarily know how to get started. You don't necessarily know how exactly to do things. You don't know which resources to use. You don't know which tools you use. You don't know how to build your email newsletter. You don't know how to reach people or how to even create products that people could be paying for. Or there is a more simple and strategic way of having a step-by-step -step process that you could follow and that will lead you to success, right? And I obviously wanted to take the second part and Philip and I have prepared something because now we are opening the doors to the second cohort that we're ever running of our Freedom Business Accelerator. So this is a program that we have developed over the last two years that is basically a proven framework that shows you exactly how to turn your passion. A lot of you are, are writers, so in your case, it would be your writing also into an independent and thriving online business. This is the system that we have developed because we needed it for ourselves. And uh, this is also the proven framework that we've been teaching our students in the very first cohort that we've run um, last year. And I want to give you a quick idea of what you will get and how this is actually going to help you on this exciting journey, because you are obviously here because you want to make a change, right? The Freedom Business Accelerator comes with seven chapters and 20 sex in that modules. Now, this is a lot uh, because we are actually coaching you for a long time because we don't want to give you a few quick ideas and then leave you out there looking for the next program or product. We go the entire journey with you. We build your business with you. That's why we start with a module or with a few foundational modules, actually, that are about your inner game, about your mindset and everything that you need to change about your, yourself before you actually start to build your business. Now, I'm not the person who is saying, 
mindset is everything. I believe having a solid strategy, showing up, being consistent and knowing what you do matters. Uh, but being in a place where you are confident enough to show up matters too. We move on to um, the marketing module or the chapter where we talk about your niche, where we talk about your key messages. Then we move on to actually developing what we call a value ladder and thinking about potential products and services you could be offering to your audience. And then comes the four important pillars. We talk about how to actually attract your audience. We talk about how to build your list, your email list, how to create freebies. We don't just tell you how to do it. We actually do it with you. We show you exact case studies. We give you our templates. We give you access to um, templates that you can basically fill in and, and use on your own over and over again if you want to create multiple resources. Uh, we give you all our templates for emails. We give you our indoctrination process, which is basically the first welcome emails your um, new email subscribers receive when they sign up to your emails. And then we move on to the engagement part, where we teach you how to actually build a consistent newsletter, how to build a community if you want to build one, how to win super fans that will love what you do and actually support your work on various levels. Then we move on to the third stage that we talked about, how to actually convert your existing audience into paying customers. Like, how do you create um, products that they actually want to pay for? This is the testing and pre-selling module. We don't want you to ever create something that nobody is going to be interested in, that nobody is going to be willing to, to pay for. We want you to only create things and spend time on things that are going to be 100% worth your time. So this is what we do in conversion. And then we talk about how to actually deliver. Like, how do you create courses or ebooks or PDF checklists, um, cheat sheets, workbooks, whatever it is? Um, maybe you want to offer some templates. It depends on what you do, right? This is all about what you want to offer. But we teach you how exactly you can do it and how you can create those resources um, to be of value for your audience. Now, um, keep in mind that we are teaching you all of this because we have literally done it ourselves over the last two years. None of this is theory. None of this is based on something we have um, not done ourselves. We literally walk the talk. We have taken our business from being nowhere, from not existing to multiple six-figure profits in less than two years and we have done this with multiple brands. We have built different audiences, different products, and we know that we can actually help you get there as well. Um, and another student of ours um, from last year's cohort was actually Deborah, who also left us a wonderful um, feedback at the end saying, um, you know, Philip and Sinem don't hold back, they give everything. And Deborah was one of our most active students. And um, she was actually a very multi-passionate entrepreneur who joined us with um, an idea on a niche that was totally different than what she ended up doing. But at the end of the day, she ended up finding her niche, finding high paying clients and, and doing work that she's really good at and that she is able to charge, um, I would say, even if almost a premium fee for her work because um, she really knew how she could um, reach the exact audience and the exact, um, in her case, entrepreneurs that um, she was able to monetize. Uh, another of her students was Eva, who has um, actually, with whom we have worked years ago, and, and then she has taken the Freedom Business Accelerator and she moved on to actually build her own audience, create her own uh, cohort-based courses. Um, she has been on a TEDx stage and has been a speaker there. So she has actually taken what we've thought and, and um, used it in her very own way to, to create success um, in her own way because she didn't necessarily want to just be in the digital world and just create um, small products, but instead she's actually also charging premium prices for her cohorts and then also doing a lot of work with organizations and um, as I said, speaking on stages and, and topics that are just in her field of interest. 
All right. Um, what we are going to teach you inside the Freedom Business Accelerator works for writers who are writing educational content and who want to be independent and increase their income and their impact. It works for online writers who are sick of being dependent of external platforms, especially when it comes to their income, obviously. It works for creators and experts who have an audience or a strong message, but who didn't necessarily succeed in monetizing their expertise or passion yet. And for anyone who is excited about turning their passion into a digital business. What you will get access to is a simple framework to remove the guesswork, a proven system to launch your online business, more than 100 bite-sized training videos. So we are fans of really giving you short snippets so you can actually do this in your day-to-day -day life without being overwhelmed and with taking small action consistently. You get access to real-life examples and our case studies. So those of you who've been with me yesterday already know our marathon running case study. So that's also what we follow up on inside the Freedom Business Accelerator. Uh, but if you've worked with me before, you probably know this is just the tip of the iceberg. We have a lot more to offer. We have pre pre prepared a lot more resources to make this easier for you. And one of these resources is hopefully going to help you avoid this, this question or this um, struggle where you probably say, I can't do all of this on my own. Like I have seen so many ideas now and I'm not believing in myself Um so much that I could actually follow up on this and do all of this. And the good news is you don't have to because the Freedom Business Accelerator is not a online course that you complete on yourself. We are actually with you for six entire months, months, not weeks. Philip and I will be supporting you through actually weekly group coaching sessions. So we will be covering different time zones so everyone can join us. In our group coaching sessions, you're going to come on a Zoom call with us. You're going to show us what you did. Give us um, the answers to the worksheets, to the exercises. Give us the questions you still have, and we will show you how to continue. We will give you the answers you need, and we will be by your side for six entire months while you get your business up and running. When we started our journey, we didn't know if we've been on the right path. We didn't know if our ideas made sense and we didn't have anyone to ask for advice. This won't happen to you. In our group coaching calls, you will get answers to all the questions you have so you can really turn the lessons we have into action and apply them. Now, next, you might also be thinking, I don't even know what my message or passion is. Maybe you are just like most people I work with. You are a multi-passionate person. You have a ton of ideas, you have a ton of passions, and you don't know what you could focus on. We know how this feels. A lot of our students have similar struggles, and that's why we created the seven day sweet spot challenge, which is basically a challenge that helps you find your profitable niche and create a laser sharp positioning. This is important because it's not necessarily easy. Your niche is one of the most important questions. Many of you have already answered a lot of questions in the last few days. And the seven day speed spot challenge will help you be even more specific, nail it down, determine your strengths and find your profitable niche so you can create a laser sharp positioning and really stand out from the masses while doing what you love. All right, now you might also be thinking, I don't need this information. I already know that, or um, I have taken many notes, so I probably can do it on my own. The thing is, knowing how to define your niche or um, believing that you know it won't take you anywhere if you are not able to execute. The only question is, if you are able to turn your knowledge and passion into a profitable business or not. And all the information you consumed won't help much if you don't take action and actually do the things we talk about. Having your niche on paper doesn't even help if you don't follow up on the next few steps, right? So when you join us, additionally, in addition to our group coaching and our seven-day sweet spot challenge, you also get access to our online business demystified expert interview series because we love sharing our blueprint, our framework with you, but we also want you to learn from other experts and successful digital entrepreneurs. That's why we created the Online Business Demystified Expert Interview Series, where we talk to successful digital entrepreneurs 
and ask them to share their strategies, their lessons, their suggestions with you so that you can actually learn from multiple, um, multiple successful digital entrepreneurs on this journey. We have a bunch of videos recorded already that you'll get access to, and we will also bring in new guests live so you can join us live and also actually get into a conversation with them. And this will help you that you never get stuck on this journey because you don't just have one you know, source of inspiration or one example. You also have our case studies, but then you will also have um, access to our guests and to the behind the scenes of how they have built their businesses. And we are still not done because uh, maybe you're thinking this will all take too much time to implement. And I get it. I know that you are all busy. I appreciate deeply that you are here, that you're spending this time with me. And we want to make this as easy as possible for you. That's why we have a live training that actually helps you monetize your audience before creating your very first product. In this training, we know, um, or we have created this training because we know that you want quick results. That's why we record it and, and actually also we'll do a live session with this one. Um, that's, that's all about how to monetize your audience before you even get into that process of creating something in your own. We'll teach you multiple ways of how to actually start monetizing without even being in, in, in the sales process yet. So this is going to be very fun to, to try for all of you who are very new to this. And when I, sh when I share any of this, um, I hope that you are aware of the fact that I am by no means different or any special um, and, and really I don't have any special skills or any special background or support that I had when building these, these businesses and brands and products and services for my audience. I just created systems and processes that work very well for us in our business and also for our students. And if we did it, you can do it too. But the good news is you don't even need to, and you don't even need to do it on, um, and you know, don't need to come up with new ideas. Instead, you can just rely on our expert business blueprints because we give you a lot of content to consume and to, to follow up on, but we actually also give you step-by-step -step templates that you can use. Email templates, launch plans, um, as I said, freebie plans, plans on how to launch your own Facebook group if you want to launch one, plans on how to welcome new subscribers into your email list. And this is really your massive shortcut. We have dozens of these templates and blueprints inside the course, and you are able to use them over and over again um, throughout your entire business journey, actually, because this is what we do. You know, when, whenever we start to, to build something, we don't start from scratch. We just use our own blueprints and we are more than happy to give you access to them if you want to work with us over the next six months. Plus, you obviously also want to be part of a community, right? Come join us and you will be part of a inner circle community for six entire months. We will be building a successful online business with you, with the community. This is where you can connect with like-minded writers, entrepreneurs, get all your questions answered, find accountability partners, get inspired by other people's progress and also stay in touch with Philip and myself. So this is really the place um, you go whenever you need help, whenever you have a question. You guys, this is the Freedom Business Accelerator. This is our step-by-step -step program to help you monetize your passion, your ideas, your interests, your skills in a streamlined and effective way. We hope that you go on this journey with us because you can do so now. Um, you actually have one of two options, right? You, you can either go with us on the journey and let us guide you every step of the way and follow a step-by-step -step roadmap, or you try to do it on your own without a plan or any sort of guidance. You can try it, but you will run the risk of being in the exact same place in which you are right now, a year from now, and having having an open loop and still being stuck, still not knowing how exactly to monetize um, your work, how exactly to get paid for the work you do. And we don't want you to be in that stage. We want you to go on this journey with us. Let us help you. Let us um, provide you with the best possible resources and guidance while you are building your own thing step by step. 
And you can now join us for $1,497 for six entire months of group coaching with me and my partner, Philip, to do all of this, not by yourself, not by your own, but with a community, with a group of people who will love to see you succeed with two mentors by your side who will hold your hand and actually do all these steps with you. So you can actually come join us now. The doors are only open for about a week from now because we obviously want to get started, right? So you don't do this on your own. You're going to do it together with an entire group of people and our official kickoff is going to be very soon. So the doors are open right now. We cannot wait to welcome you inside. And, um, and to connect with you, to learn more about your ideas, about um, your dreams and goals, and to help them build those. But make sure you join us on time because we are only offering the Freedom Business Accelerator once per year because it's a six-month program. And we want to ensure that we can really help each and every student who is in there in the most and best possible way. We are there for you. We are going to meet up at least every two weeks. You can also join us weekly. And, and get our feedback, pick our brain, and do all of this together with us. You have three options to join us. You can join us with a one-time payment, you can join us on a six-month plan, or you can join us with a 12-month plan. We totally understand if you um, don't want to join us with a one-time payment. If you join us on a six-month or 12-month plan, you're probably like if you join us and you follow up on the things we, we teach, you really do everything we tell you to do, um, then we are probably, but you know, and at the end of your six months or in the middle of your six months, you are actually going to be able to easily pay your monthly fee based on what you have created and based on the offers you are already selling. So I am actually seeing one question from, Morgi in the chat asking, will you help me with my offer in the coaching sessions? Yes, you can join the coaching session literally every week or every two weeks and tell us what you want to do and we will build your offer with you. You can show us your landing page, your sales page, your sales email. You can show us what you did either in the coaching call or inside the community, you know, just give us screenshots or links and we will tell you what you did great and what you could possibly improve, what we would do differently and why we would do it. So this is the entire purpose. We want you to come work with us. We don't want you to, we don't want to give you a ton of materials and still let you do it on your own. We are going to be there for you and you can use all the sessions and the community as often as you want and, and as, as frequently as you want. Um, so there is another question from Samuel in the chat asking, can I ask you and Philip questions between the coaching sessions? Do you respond regularly? So yes, this is what our community is for. Um, this is what the um, inner circle community is all about. Like it is a Facebook group. You can come in there. We are usually checking in daily at least once per day. And you can share any questions with us. And as I said, we will be more than happy to actually respond. Um, so you can, you can actually usually expect an answer within 24 hours. Uh, maybe we're a bit slower on the weekends, but yes, we're checking regularly. And usually we are a lot faster because we are really excited about seeing your questions and actually doing this, this work with you. You will be surprised by how much um, we actually enjoy doing, you know, building your products, your offers, your, your community with you. Um, all right, let me just quickly check if there is anything else I wanted to share with you. Yeah, there is um, one more question in, or two more questions in the chat, one from Tiffany and one from Nan that I will reply to in just a few seconds. So give me a few moments and I will get back to your questions, Tiffany and Nan. Um, I just quickly wanted to let you know that we have actually prepared something special for right now for our boot campers and for everyone who is in this training with us right now. Um, we know that a lot of you are writing on Medium and that you want to get your newsletter up and running as soon as possible. So even though we are covering these topics inside the Freedom Business Accelerator, 
we decided to create two separate master classes for you. If you join us before Friday midnight CET, you will additionally get access to those two separate master classes. And what we will discuss in those are, first of all, on Medium, I'm going to show you how to build your audience on Medium, how to get more eyeballs on your stories, come up with unique story ideas that will help you reach your dream audience and with the exclusive headline templates that you can use to actually attract the right kind of audience to your stories so that you can then actually build an email list based on people who love to hear from you. In the newsletter building masterclass, we will talk about how to start your newsletter from scratch. So if you have not started your newsletter yet, you are going to be able to do it step by step with us. We will show you how to get your first freebie up and running in less than 24 hours hours. Um, if you do the work with us, obviously, we will show you a very streamlined process. It is possible and your freebie is going to be amazing and people will love it. We'll also give you newsletter templates and freebie templates. So this, these are two topics we talked about a lot in this bootcamp and in the masterclass also, right? So this is why we wanted to provide you with some extra help on those two so that you don't need to wait um, for the specific modules in the Freedom Business Accelerator, but can actually take action a lot sooner. All right, um, let me just quickly check what else we have prepared for you. We have actually tested and tried and researched, and we know that everything we're going to teach you is applicable for all these different niches. So if you are if you believe that your work belongs to any of these categories that you can see on my screen right now, you will be in the right hands because we know that our framework can specifically support you in you know, getting your community, getting your content, getting your products up and running. If you feel like your you know, entire idea, your passion doesn't belong to any of these, we are happy to hop on a private discovery call with you and discuss what you want to do and if it's a fit. So if you believe that you don't fit in any of these categories and you would really like to chat about whether the Freedom Business Accelerator is the right thing for you, please drop us a comment in the chat box now. Uh, we will follow up, we will um, send you a link so you can book a call with me or with Philips, you know, personally so that we can get to know you. We get to know what your idea is all about and we can really give you first-hand feedback on whether we believe this would be the right step for you or not. All right. Um, as I said, we have three payment methods. So you can join us with payment plans. Um, this is probably more comfortable if you want to, you know, slowly and, and steadily build your business and, and actually be able to pay some of your last payments based on the products you've already created. So this is, um, I think, going to be a fascinating journey. And um, one more thing that we often got asked about is whether we have a money back guarantee, right? Um, and we thought a lot about this because we are actually going on private calls with you. We are providing you a lot of personal support. So there is a lot of work involved from our side, but we are 100% confident that this can be life-changing for you. Um, if you show up, do the work, and still feel like we didn't meet our promise, we will happily refund your investment within 90 days. So you don't just quickly come in and check in on something and decide it's not for you. No, you come in, you go through the first, it's actually the first, let me think, 14 modules, I think. For 90 days, you do the work, you show us the work you did. If you believe that it was not worth your investment, we'll happily give it back to you. We know that this is not going to be the case, but this is our promise. It's a 90 day money back guarantee. All right, um, I'm seeing one um, question actually here in my chat from Nan. I'm hoping, I, I hope that I will be pronouncing all your names correctly. I'm so sorry if that's not the case. My name is not easy to pronounce. I'm, I'm used to it. Um, so please don't be mad if I pronounce any names incorrectly. But the question is, how many people do you expect to be in the cohort? In our uh, last cohort, we had 
29 members. So it's actually um, small groups. We love working with small groups. Um, and um, that's also why we will be able to provide you personalized feedback and, and support on your products and um, services that you will be creating. So we obviously don't know how many people we will have in there this time. We already have about 10 members inside. So these have been members who joined us a bit earlier because they've been in, an, in a previous program with us. Um, but you can be 100% sure that you will be able to get your personalized first-hand feedback. That is 100% our promise. That's the main purpose of this program. All right. Um, at this stage, I believe the real only question that is left is, is it worth your time to check it out and bet on yourself? If you are still here with me, I guess your answer is a big fat yes. You are here because you want to do all of these things, because you are excited about giving it a try, about betting on yourself and building a business that allows you to live your life on your own terms. Um, and just imagine, even if you know we help you do half of the things I have just talked about, the Freedom Business Accelerator will easily pay for itself with one small offer that you can create with us in the next few months. So um, if this is not convincing, I don't know what is. Um, your next steps, if you want to join us, is go check the links that you find in the chat box and by clicking on the join FBA now button that you can see on the side. When you do that, you'll get to a checkout page. Then you will be directed to our private members area where you already have access to the first lessons and modules of the course. You will be invited to our private community on Facebook. So you will be able to get in there um, in the next, I would say, 24 hours, depending on how fast you join us. And um, yeah, as I said, this is what we want to do with you. And if you join us now during the call, the timer has actually been running for a while now, but we will take a look at the clock and make sure that everybody who has already joined us or who is joining us in the next 30 minutes is going to get a private free onboarding call as well. So this free onboarding call is going to help us understand what your goals are so that we can provide the best possible support for you throughout the entire program. Um, so I'm taking a look actually at the clock now. Um, 30 minutes from now, I'm probably, I will probably not be live anymore anyway, but basically starting now you have 30 minutes if you want to join us um, and decide quickly, you will be on a private call with me or Philip where we discuss your goals in detail so we can actually um, help you in, in the best possible way. All right, this is it. Let me take a look at your questions. Um, da, 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 da. So I have a question from Morgi asking, can I join even if I don't want to create video courses but only books. Of course, you don't have to create anything that you don't want to create. Uh, we are going to show you all the different possibilities and options, but at the end of the day, it's totally up to you what exactly you want to offer to your audience. Um, we have a lot of students actually who didn't want to create courses and who told us specifically uh, before they joined. And that's perfectly fine because the entire process and framework is the exact same that you, that you need. Um, da, 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 da. let me take a look. Um, okay, I, yeah, I had one question from Tiffany. So Tiffany asked, can you explain what makes your particular course unique? I've taken courses for becoming an online writer and the content always seems to be the same content and strategies, no matter whose course it is. What do you teach specifically that's different for your students? I hope that question makes sense. Thank you. Um, so first of all, Tiffany, this is not um, a course on how to write online, as I said. Um, this is all about taking your writing and building an entire indep independent business. So if we, you know, if, if you take a look back, I will actually give me a second. I will try to go back with my slides, but if not, you can actually go to freedombusinessaccelerator.com 
um, and take a look at our entire content schedule. What makes this unique is that we know exactly which struggles writers are facing. Um, we have been in this space for a very long time now, and uh, we know that there is no other business building program designed specifically for writers and with writers in mind. Um, we know what your struggles and, and um, desires are because that's exactly what we did. I, I've, that's where I come from, right? I have built my audience on Medium and I decided to build something better and bigger. Um, I'm not teaching you how to be an online writer in this course. I'm teaching you how to turn your content, your passion, the knowledge that you have into an actual business that you can monetize in various different ways. So um, I hope this is at, at least answers part of your question. There are um, many other reasons why this course is actually very unique. Uh, one of them is for example, the fact that you will not find any other course that will support you on a personal level for six months. Um, I can pretty much guarantee that. Um, we know that we are going the extra mile. We know that we could be charging a lot more for this course because we are with you in the game together and we are not just giving you a ton of videos, a ton of lessons and letting you do it on your own. We know that there is no other offer that first of all helps you to build what we promise you to build, like an actual business, not just a few pieces of content, not just an audience on one platform, but an actual business that you can run and scale. And second of all, we know that there is no other offer that would support you for six entire months with personalized coaching, with personalized feedback and with actual calls where you can come on and share your ideas, your struggles with, with, with your hosts and mentors. So there are many other reasons why this course is actually very unique. It's, it's pretty much what we uh, needed when we started, but we didn't have access to it. But if you have any other specific questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll take a look at the other questions in the chat in the meantime. Let me just quickly see what else you have here. And we have another question from uh, John who asks, will I have to invest a lot on tools or running ads? No, this is actually one of our big claims. First of all, um, you will be able to get started uh, with free tools. Um, we tell you the exact tools that we personally use and use. Um, and we, we guide you to use their free options until you make money. Once you start to make money, you can upgrade and use their more advanced features, or you can start with the very small, um, you know, monthly payments if you want to have upgraded tools right away. That's up to you. We don't run any ads. We have not run a single ad in our business, and we don't teach to build a business based on ads. We teach you how to build this all organically. And if you decide to take the next step and run ads at a certain stage, um, you can do so. So you will have a business that will be set up um, in a way that you will be able to run ads, but you don't have to worry about any additional costs in terms of tools, platforms, or um, any kind of marketing budget that you need in order to get started. Um, dum, dum, dum. Let me take a look. Um, yeah, we have one important question, actually. Um, it's how much time um, do I need? Um, I have other commitments, uh, which makes me wonder if I can do this. We have actually built the Freedom Business Accelerator to be possible to, to complete for anyone with a full-time job. So a lot of our students are still in a stage where they are in their full-time job and they want to build their business because they want to transition into running their own thing. Um, if you can make, and that's, that's, you know, the big number, if you can make anywhere from three to five hours per, per week for your content, um, or for, for going through the course, for going through the course, I'm sorry, um, you will be able to, to catch up and, um, yeah, be, be up to date and, and follow everything we are, are doing inside. So, 
Um, it's about three to four hours of, of content and some additional work. And of course, the more time you have, the sooner you will see the results because the faster you will be able to, to build the things that we hope you will build. But uh, five hours per week is going to be totally helpful for you to actually go on with the modules and stay in the loop. All right. Um, dum, dum, dum. Um, I'm seeing one question from Emily asking, how has the Google content update affected your strategy? Um, it hasn't affected our strategy because we haven't been betting on an SEO based strategy in a way, in the way that Google's content update actually changed. Um, we have always betted on value based content, which Google's update is actually all about. And, um, we are not like we are not really affected by the update in that sense. Da -dum, da -dum. All right, let me see what else we have here. Um, da -da -da -da. If you have any other questions, let me know in the chat box. Um, I'm just trying to filter out the questions that we have. You have left me so many comments in the chat box that I am just scrolling through. Okay, we have um, two questions here. One from Jenny. Jenny is asking, are the modules released on a schedule or can you jump around the modules from day one? Basically, if I wanted to do freebie creation right away, do I have to wait if it's not in the beginning modules? Um, yes, you would have to wait because we go module by module um, with the entire group. That's the entire purpose of doing this together because otherwise the group coaching sessions would be all mixed up. And if you talk about your freebie in week one, it would be hard for someone who is actually going week by week to, to be up to date on what the content is. Um, we are actually releasing multiple modules Um so we, you don't, you will always have access to a bunch of modules that you can complete. So you can be a bit faster than the actual schedule that we provide. But um, there is a reason we have structured it in that way. And there is a reason we want you to actually follow the steps step by step. Um, we know that this is the most reliable and effective path. Um, in the in the masterclass, in the newsletter masterclass, you will be able to create your freebie early on. So this is why we have actually, why we actually came up with the medium masterclass and the newsletter masterclass. So there you will have access to how, on how to create your, your freebie, etc. But for the actual FBA modules, we go week by week and module by module. That's the entire purpose of having a group system and a cohort where we take you by the hand. Okay. John is asking, how does a typical coaching session look like? It's um, mostly a open Q&A session. So we might, depending on whether we got questions from our students um, throughout the week, we are going to address those questions. We're going to ask you what, what you've been up to, what you did. And it's mostly really an open Q&A session where you can come in and um, get answers to all your questions. As I shared before, you will be able to get feedback on everything you create. We can create your offer together. We can create your pages together. You can share anything with us that you want and you will be able to address it. Um, we are able to provide that kind of support in every coaching session that we host. So um, it's not a given schedule that, that we follow, but we are really just on a call together. Um, it's, it's Zoom calls. You can join us with your camera on, with your microphone on, or you just join us in the chat, whatever you personally prefer, and um, get all your questions answered so that there are no roadblocks or questions in your head um, in order to actually move on. Da -da -da. Okay, we have one question um, about niches. So it is, I want to create courses on personal finance, business startup and income tax topics. Are these viable niches? Yes, finance is a huge topic um, that is actually perfect for the entire blueprint that, or the entire framework that we teach because it 
solve very specific problems that a lot of people in the world have. So um, these are actually three different topics. So you would need to find out what exactly you want to do, but we will help you do that inside the program anyway. But um, as a topic, those are all um, totally viable niches that you can cover inside the Freedom Business Accelerator. Okay. Um, all right, I'm seeing a few people who say I have a few questions or so none, for example. Um, we will be in touch. We are happy to hop on a call with you to answer all your remaining questions. Um, let me follow up here and see what other questions we have. I'm actually seeing a few people's names who have already joined us. So I'm seeing that uh, Greg and Nikki have already joined us. Derek has already joined us. So if you are still on this call, Nikki, Greg, Derek, um, hello and welcome inside the Freedom Business Accelerator. We're looking forward to meeting you in the group coaching sessions in our and in our official kickoff that is going to happen very soon. Um, okay. Uh, I have another question here from Max, who is saying, I am from Italy for calls. Uh, is there a way to schedule in my free time? Typically uh, 7 to 9 p.m. CET. Um, I am actually based in Europe as well. I'm based in Austria. So um, our group coaching calls will definitely be at a time that you will be able to join them. So around... So we will have different time schedules for our coaching sessions so that um, people from all over the globe will be able to join us because we are always um, cohorts with multiple or with people from various different countries. But you can be 100% sure that your time zone and your location is going to be no problem because of where we are based as well. So that's, that's going to be perfect for you. All right, um, let me see what other questions I can answer here. Um, I am seeing another question from Braxton asking, I'm not sure where my coaching ties into a blog that depicts my nonfiction story. I understand how others make sales within these methods of emailing and marketing their copy paste methods. Um, Braxton, if you have any questions that you would like to discuss in detail, feel free to reach out to us, um, schedule a discovery call so we can hop on a personal call and actually talk in more detail about your niche and your goals and see if this would make sense for you personally. All right, um, let me see what else do we have here. Um, dum, dum, dum. Uh, another question from Michael um, asking, "Can I send you questions if I can't at if I cannot attend a session live?" Uh, yes, that's basically also what the student community is here for. You can send us your questions anytime um, and you know if it's a quick question we will just give you the answer right away in written form or um, if it's a more in-depth question we will just um, answer it in the call and all calls are being recorded so even if you can't make it to any coaching sessions you know to any of the coaching sessions in a particular week uh, you will be able to catch the replay. So everything is recorded. You don't miss out on anything if there are changes in your schedule or um, you, you, you happen to have any other responsibilities. We really make sure that you have access to all the resources. And you also have lifetime access to all resources, by the way, to all recordings, to all blueprints, to all videos. So this is all there for you to use for as long as you want. Okay. Um, okay. Um, another question. When do you think this will actually start? Uh, Nan, you get access to the first lessons as soon as you join. Our official kickoff is going to happen in about 10 days. So I don't have the exact date with me right now. Um, but we are actually starting right away. So as soon as you join, you get access, you can um, go through the first few lessons. Um, 
take the first few exercises and our actual group sessions are also starting very soon. So we are just, we just need a few more days um, to, to get everyone inside who wants to get inside and who wants to join us. But as soon as we close the doors, the kickoff session is happening and then we are starting with the weekly sessions. So this is happening right now, very soon. Um, we will be on live calls with you. Mm, okay, we have another question from um, Marta. So two questions actually. Do I also get to connect with the entrepreneurs that you will interview? I want to build my network. Um, yes, so we will have some live interviews. Um, on the live interviews, you are basically able to join the chat session just like right now. So um, you can join the chat, you can answer, or you can, um, been talking for two hours now, I'm getting a little confused, sorry. You can join the chat, you can share all your questions and also ask the, the other people on the call whether they want to connect via email or however you want to connect. If maybe you have, you know, maybe you want to do an interview with them because you have a YouTube channel, you have a podcast or whatever it is, you are totally able to do that. Um, da, 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 da. Then another question from Marta is, does it make a difference what plan I buy? No, it doesn't. You get access to all the same resources. So everyone, no matter if you do a one-time payment, if you do six months or 12 months of payment plans, you get the exact same resources and the exact same access to um, the coaching sessions and to Philip and me as, as your instructors. So there is no difference that... that um, would have any different or negative impact on, on what you get access to. Um, we have a question on community building. So Sanjay asks, you teach community building. Where did you learn that? We did it. We have a Facebook community with over, we actually have two Facebook communities. One is about to hit 10,000 members very soon. We have um, combined actually now more than 30,000 email subscribers. We, I have a community on Medium of more than 50,000 followers. Um, we have not learned it. We have actually done it by, by ourselves and created these results. Um, so uh, we, we learned from various resources, but we basically came up with our own strategies on how to do things because we couldn't find resources that just taught us everything in one place. Um, ah, there's one very important question actually from, uh, I hope I pronounce the name correctly, Saraj, um, asking, does the program cover building on platforms such as Medium and Teachable or more oriented toward creating our own website? We don't um, ask you to create a website at all. Uh, we build on external platforms um, like Teachable, for example, when selling products. Um, so uh, we don't even, um, we, we haven't built our websites even and up until now. Um, and it's not what we teach because we think this is actually not very beginner friendly. Building and running your own website can be very costly and time consuming. Um, and if you do it on your own, it's never really going to look great unless you really know how to do it. So we don't um, ask you to build your own website and have your, you know, have your community or your products on your own site. We are going to teach you how to use existing tools that will make it really easy to get started. So um, that's how we do it. Da -da 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 -da. All right, um, let me see what else we have here. Do we have any other questions? I have one other question from Maria um, saying, I feel I have too much to work on internally and there's this fear that I might not, I might not be able to maximize this opportunity if I do join. Um, I mean, I can obviously not judge your very personal situation, Maria. If you want to talk about it, we can hop on a call and you can share a bit more um, on why you think you are not or you might not be able to make use of it. Um, yeah, that's that's probably the best um, kind of 
you know, solution I can offer. As I said, you will have lifetime access to all resources. So even if you need um, a little more time to get into it, uh, you will still be able to, to actually make the most out of it. We also try to provide you with catch-up weeks where we give you more access to coaching sessions and give you a little more time to actually implement um, what you learned because we know that sometimes life gets in the way. Um, there's going to be Christmas season, holiday season. We obviously don't expect you to you know, go all in during the holidays. Um, instead, we will you know, provide you with some quick breaks so you can actually come back and um, continue when when the holidays are over and when you feel like you are ready to continue. Um, another question from Victoria is, how many hours a day do you think you need to commit to? Um, so that, that's what I re responded to um, a bit earlier. If you can make around three to four hours per week, not per day, for the content, you will be well set up. Everything on top of that is your time for execution. So add a few more hours on top of that for actually completing the exercises for doing what we teach and you will be very fine. So this program is designed for people who are still in their full-time job or you know who are very busy and who don't have a lot of time. We value your time. We know that you don't have like 20 hours in a week to, to spend on a program like that and to then build your own business. Um, we will be by your side for six months because we know that some things just take time to build and, and to test. But on a weekly basis, we actually go on a speed that you can easily follow when you have three to four hours per week for the consumption and then a few more for actually doing what we teach. So it always depends, right? In the first few modules, you don't have too much to do. If you are setting up your newsletter and, and um, scheduling a few emails, that might take a little more time. So it really depends on where exactly you are, but a few hours per week is what we aim for because we want to make it easy for you to actually use the strategies and not just you know, watch endless amounts of videos um, and never actually execute. So I hope this is a helpful answer to your question. All right. I still have almost 100 people here with me. So if you still have questions, let me know in the chat box. I'm trying to follow up on all the questions. Um, I'm dum, dum, dum. Let me see what else we have here. But if there is anything else you'd like to know, um, let me know in the chat box and I will take as much time as I possibly can to, to take a look. All right. Um, I'm seeing Nan who has scheduled a discovery call for tomorrow. That's amazing. Um, yes, you will be able to get the two bonuses, the newsletter masterclass and the medium masterclass. They're available until midnight tomorrow, Central European time. So um, if you join us um, during the day tomorrow, you will still be able to get access to the bonus medium masterclass and the bonus newsletter masterclass. So you can actually start right away. Um, dum -dum. Let me see. Um, the bonus templates that you are going to receive for staying until the end are going to be sent via email. Um, so uh, take a look at your inboxes in the next few days. You are going to receive the three blueprints that we promised via email. All right. Let me see if there are any other questions um, in the chat box. All right, I'm seeing lots and lots of um, comments. Amazing. Thank you all for being here with me still. I'm trying to check if there are any questions. Uh, 
Okay, you guys, I am not seeing any specific questions here in the chat box. Let me just quickly check in here again. Um, if you have any other questions, um, take a look at our page. It's freedombusinessaccelerator.com. Um, you will also receive the emails via or the information via email. We're going to reach out to you. Um, so we will be in touch. You will hear from us. Um, if anything else comes up, feel free to reply to any of the emails we are sending you. So as I said, we are checking them in detail. We will be active. You can also reach out to us in the communities. So also in the bootcamp community, if you have any questions. I'm just seeing one more question here um, from Sanjay asking, can I also offer only coaching instead of courses? Yes, that works. So one of our modules is actually all about how to build sustainable um, or and transformational coaching sessions. So we actually help you specifically with that as well. Um, if you if you go with us um, inside the Freedom Business Accelerator, and it's your decision, you know, you can offer only coaching. But uh, maybe you also want to offer additional um, support to your coaching clients. You know, maybe at some point you want to create some, uh, I don't know, worksheets, some templates for your coaching clients and, and still just offer coaching, but have some additional layers to it. But yeah, it's totally possible. It's really up to you. We will not tell you how to run your business or what to produce. That's all going to be your decision. And this is important because your business should be fun and should be aligned with your values and with how you want to show up. You know, maybe you get excited about hosting a training like this one one day. Perfect. You will learn how to do it. Maybe you don't want to do any videos. That's perfect too. You will learn how to do a lot of other things and you will get to decide what to do. Um, I'm seeing one question uh, from Sophie in the chat asking, how can I schedule a discovery call? Um, Sophie, we will make sure to get in touch with you. You will be able to um, find the link in on our page as well. So if you go to, free, uh, if you go to freedombusinessaccelerator.com, uh, you will find a button that says discover discovery call or schedule your discovery call. Um, I will check. I don't know if the link was posted in the comments as well. Maybe Philip can send it to you right away. Um, otherwise, you can find it on the page and you will also be able to find it in our emails. So everyone who wants to talk to us um, about their niche, about their goals, about whether um, this is a program that would make sense to them. Everyone who wants it will be able to uh, be on a call and talk to us. Um, okay, um, I just got notified again about the three blueprints for staying on the session. As I mentioned before, um, you will receive those via email. So take a look at your inbox. You will receive the three blueprints as a PDF um, in your email inbox. All right, let me see if we have anything else here. Let me see if there are any other questions. Okay. All right, you guys, I will be here for one more minute. I will I will try to take a look at the chat um, to see if there are any final questions. I'm still seeing a lot of you here with me live and I appreciate your time. So if there is still anything you'd like to know about the Freedom Business Accelerator, about how we are going to support you, about how we could support you, um, let me know now in the chat box. But I'm not seeing any new comments, so I believe that everyone has their answers for now. Uh, if you are a VIP member inside our bootcamp, uh, we have a VIP call tomorrow and on Monday again. So come join us for the final two VIP calls. Um, we will discuss all your questions around the bootcamp content, around the masterclass content, 
Um, if you have any questions about the Freedom Business Accelerator, we can also address those in the coaching sessions. So for our VIP members, um, there are two more sessions. As I said, come join us. Um, let us know what, what you thought. Let us know what you're struggling with, and we will be more than happy to help. All right. Um, all of you who are here with me still, uh, thank you so, so much for being here today, for being here tonight. Um, this was a pleasure. I hope that you got a lot of ideas and insights out of this training, um, no matter at which stage you are and where you want to go. I hope that this training was a little bit of a bridge for you personally. It was a pleasure talking to you. I would love to see you in inside our communities, um, get in touch with us, be part of our Facebook communities, let us know what you think, let us know what you're struggling with. And um, yeah, if you want to join the Freedom Business Accelerator, we are more than looking, looking forward to working with you, looking forward to welcoming you inside and, and really being on this exciting journey with um, a few of you guys who are ambitious and who want to move fast over the next few months. Thank you for being here. I'll see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.